In this video, I'd like to do an animation that demonstrates a secant line approaching a tangent line. So in this scenario right here, I have a function, 0.25x to the third minus x plus 1, and that would be the black function that is graphed right there. All right, I have a secant line, secant line going through two points on the curve, which is the green line, and up here it shows the slope of the secant line at that given particular point in time. I also have a tangent line at point A, and the slope of the tangent line is provided over here to the left. All right, now this would be um, introducing the limit process. A lot of times very early on in, in a calculus class, right, when you're trying to learn about limits, um, this is a very common introduction to the limit process. We take a look at the secant line and what the slopes of those are doing in relationship to the slope of this tangent line. All right, so as it sits right now, this secant line has a positive slope and my tangent has a positive slope, but they're not very close together. As you can see, the slope of the secant line is 2.06, the slope of the tangent is 0.69. All right, but as I would move and pick a point closer, on the curve closer to A. All right, well now the slope of that secant line is 1.86 and the slope of the tangent is 0.69. So at least it's getting closer and it's closer. So as I pick another point closer, again, the slope of that secant line is getting closer and closer to the slope of the tangent line. So if we take a look at what's happening on our x-axis as this approaches, my delta x is beginning to approach zero. As I move this down, that delta x, the distance between my a and my a plus h point there, is approaching zero. And eventually, see I'm getting really, really close. The closer I pick that, that red point on the line to my a, then the closer that secant line becomes to the tangent line. And eventually, as delta x approaches zero, it becomes really close. And it's an animation here, so it's really hard to work, but I can get really close there. All right, so let's start back up here again and watch again. This is the secant line. As I pick this point closer and closer to my point of tangency, the slope of that secant line approaches the slope of the tangent. And basically, that's just the overall idea of the limit process. Ooh, I almost had it right there. Okay, as in we're letting delta x, the distance between those two points, approach zero. This distance here on the x-axis is approaching zero as I pick a point closer and closer to my point of tangency. So basically that's just a nice little animation showing a secant line approaching a tangent line. So definitely thanks for watching the animation and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.